hello and welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel. Uh, today we're continuing our study on this channel with uh, the book of 1 Chronicles. And we're doing chapter 24. And it has taken us into continuing our study on the uh, tribe of Levi and the Levites and the Levitical priesthood. Which was the old uh, priesthood that was well, the first priesthood, I want to say, that uh, the Heavenly Father established in the Old Testament with the children of Israel. The first group of people that actually God began to speak to, reveal Himself to and through uh, as a congregation and as a people in the earth. Okay? So we're on chapter 24, First Chronicles. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron are Nadab and Abihu, Elizer, and Ithamar. But uh, Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore, Elizer and Ithamar executed the priest's office. Okay, and these are all sons of Aaron, and Aaron is a part of the tribe of Levi. So this goes in uh, and, and along with the children of Israel because Levi was Jacob's son. And these are all his sons, his genealogy, his generation of people that came through his loins. And so verse 3 says, David distributed them both Zadok of the sons of Elizar and Ahimelech of the sons of Lithamar according to their offices in their service. And we do see here that David was the one that was actually over everyone. He was actually, uh, excuse me, the leader chosen to set the positions for each individual that were to be in control over whatever office it was, a part of the uh, house of the Lord. So he goes on to say, and there were more chief men found of the sons of Elizar than the sons of Ithamar. And thus were they divided among the sons of Elizar. There were 16 chief men of the house of their fathers and eight among the sons of Ithamar, according to the house of their fathers. So they were divided by lot, one sort with another for the governors of the sanctuary, governors of the sanctuary and governors of the house of God were the sons of Elizar and the sons of Ithamar. Again, all from the genealogy from the tribe of Levi. Uh, verse 6, And Shemaiah, the son of Nathaniel, the scribe, uh, one of the Levites, they wrote them before the king and the prince, princess and Zodak the priest. And Ahimelech, the son of Abithar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites. One principal household being taken for Elizar and one taken for Ithamar. Okay, and then it goes on to talk about the different lots of what would be property, land given to certain uh, individuals in his genealogy. I'm going to go over to verse 19. It says, These were the orders of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord according to their manner under Aaron, their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. So, as we can see here, Aaron and Moses of the tribe of Levi, they were the ones that was responsible for leading the congregation and establishing all the order of the camp, uh, congregation uh, according to what you know the Lord had commanded them to do. And uh, the rest of the sons of Levi were these. Of the sons of Amram, and we know that from studying the previous chapters, Moses and Aaron uh, were the two sons used uh, more, I want to say more uh, famously in the word of God than the others, other sons that Amron had. But they are listed here. Uh, and let's see. They're listed all the way down to verse 25, and then it talks about the brother of Macha was Ishaya of the sons of Ishaya, Z 
Zechariah. So here we have Zechariah. You have a book, uh, Zechariah. Uh, Zechariah was a prophet, and here he is also. He was in the uh, Levi tribe. He was a part of the Levi tribe. And as we go down even further, verse 29, it says, Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jerilmil. Jeril okay, so Jerilmil or Kish, because that's a popular name in the Bible also. Not does he doesn't have a book, but he's also from the tribe of Levi. And again, I like to point out the most popular used names or the names that are most seen throughout the Word of God and those that have a book, and just so that we can learn to understand what tribe they came from and uh, the reason for the tribe, how God established the tribe, and set forth in operation. Again, these were the first royal people, children of Israel, that God chose. God's chosen people, he considered those that he was uh, in love with, very dear to his heart. He favored them, protected them, and when they were mad, he punished them. When he was mad with them, when they were rebellious, you know, he punished them, you know, but he was in love with the children of Israel, just as he is with the saints today, and even more. But that relationship is similar, okay, because there's a New Testament and once the New Testament was established, even those under the Old Testament had to come under the New Testament to be considered a part of God's kingdom and in relationship with him properly, okay? With the peace. With peace, because that, you know, that is the key to it all. Jesus Christ brought peace into uh, the whole equation with the relationship between man and uh, the Heavenly Father. So that is going to bring us to the conclusion of our Bible study for this chapter 24 of First Chronicles. God bless you and I look forward to studying with you again as we continue our Bible study on the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible, Bible Channel.